Hello friends, welcome to today's video. I'm finally, finally, finally ready to show you guys this small bathroom makeover. It's just really my spring refresh. I did some cleaning in here and finally was able to get everything together to give this little bathroom a makeover. This took me um, about a week, but I really worked on it for about two days. I had gone back and forth with so many things from so many stores and Amazon and things like that. I just almost got to a point where I was like, you know what? I really don't care. I just want to get this done and over with. So I really needed to start by getting everything out of this bathroom. If you've been around a while, you know that I've had these holes in my walls from these shelves that I took down about three years ago. I have not gotten them patched. I have not had anything sanded or painted or anything like that. So it was definitely time. As you can see in this clip right here, the paint has chipped off of my front cabinet as well. So we're just going to go ahead and take care of that while I'm painting and patching holes. I'm also removing this toilet paper holder. If you remember, I picked this up at my very first trip to Ikea with Rosa. I was so excited about it, but I think because my cabinet sits so close to my toilet and that was so big, it was really just like impeding on your space and you had to be like a circus acrobat to get your hand up in there to get the toilet paper out and I was just over it. So I've got a new toilet paper holder to replace that one. I've got these little holes sanded. Um, now I will say, I do remember telling you guys that I was going to be bringing color in here. I was ready for color and I had about three different ideas that I had been bouncing around in my brain for about two months and I was trying to just narrow things down as to what I really wanted to do in here. I mentioned I did order a lot of stuff from Amazon and I had to send it back. It was just once I got it here and in front of me, it just wasn't, it was what it was pictured, you know, but it, it didn't, it was just completely different in person, if that makes any sense. I also thought about doing like a half wainscoting wall right there, but Again, I was like, okay, I don't have a nail gun. I'm not going to buy that just for this project. And I don't want to put like liquid nails on this wall because I've seen what horrible things that stuff can do. I'm just trying to keep in the back of my mind. If we decide, you know, to sell this house, I'm going to have to fix all of this stuff probably. And I don't want to do that. I also kept in mind that if you keep things bright and light, then it makes things appear more open and airy. That's what I try to do throughout my house because, you know, it is small spaces. Um, I'm replacing this little peel and stick towel holder as well. And that thing gave me a run for my money, but I did get it off. I've done some of these videos before and I've, you know, labeled this a small bathroom. To me, this is a small bathroom. Now, Ruben's bathroom is smaller than this because it just has a stand-up shower in it, but I do get a lot of comments about, you know, how can you call this a small bathroom? This is like a bathroom of luxury to some people. I get that. I honestly do, but it's, it's a small bathroom to me, okay? So, um, not only is it hard for me to try to decide what I want to do in here, like, decor and other pieces like that because I don't want to make it crowded. I want to make it look nice and homey but not crowded and just overrun with stuff because you guys know I'm trying to do things a little bit more minimalistically um, these days but I did want to make it nice and really transform this room and personally I think that I did. Um, after I went ahead and shot down the idea in my brain of the wainscoting and I was going to paint that like a like a green like a like a I don't know, like a foresty green color because I think it's a beautiful color. Once I decided against that, I was like, well, maybe I can paint my cabinets that color, right? I could bring the color through there. And then I was like, oh, no, because then what if I have to repaint? You know, what if I hate it? And then we're on that train. I just didn't want to go through all that. So I decided until I get a new one, I'm just going to go ahead and clean these off really good. I'm going to sand them and just go ahead and paint them the same color as the trim throughout my house. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story here and it should not come as any surprise to you all. But when I was talking to Reuben about doing this bathroom, I said I could probably just use the paint that we have left from when we did the living room and the kitchen. And he was like, oh yeah, there's a whole gallon of paint left. And I was like, cool. This bathroom should not take that much, right? So I come in on day one and I basically just get everything prepped. I pull everything out. I wipe things down. I sand areas that needed to be sanded. And 
my main goal was just to get at least one cut of this done on this day because I had already spent like seven hours on the, at the whole room at this point, right? So I go downstairs and I go through all of our buckets of paint right here and no. This right here that you see in the pan, that was all that was left of the paint. What Reuben was thinking was the trim paint that we had. We had basically a whole gallon of that left, but it's a different finish. So I could only do a little bit of this painting and um, then go out and get another gallon of paint. And it wasn't until, you know, the middle of the next week that I actually went out and got it anyways. So it kind of prolonged me of getting the paint done. I knew that was just going to be the only thing that took me the longest. So anyways, I did go ahead <laughs> and get that paint and everything got painted. I didn't show like a ton of all the painting because literally it's just painting. But it felt so good to get a fresh new coat on these walls. I was so tired of looking at all of these holes and things that I needed to do. And I have been in my brain, like I mentioned, so long on how I wanted to do this bathroom. Also, don't mind that I used a knife to do that. I don't know why I did that. I have plenty of tools and there was no... There's no need for that. Don't do that. <laughs> um, I did go ahead and grab those off the plate switch covers and I uh, put them in a bowl full of really hot soapy water just to get them clean. I had thought about getting black ones and then I was like, no, because then I'm, I will have to change like the actual electric boxes, you know, like the switches and all the, the plugs and things to be black as well. And I was like, I'm not trying to get into all that. So I just got those really cleaned up and that way I could put them back on. I do hate that I think because my camera has a touch screen, I will grab it sometimes and not notice it and it messes up my functions <laughs> and my settings. And so you'll notice in these videos, sometimes it'll get really bright and then go back you know, to normal. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. Also, I splashed paint all over my floor. It was a day. I'm telling you, it was a day, but I got it up. So, um, yeah, again, another thing I was going to mention is I think I have said the color of like my shower stall. Also, don't mind all the wedgies that I'm pulling out. Uh, so professional. Um, okay, so the color of my bathroom uh, stuff, you know, like my sink and my shower. It's kind of like that almond, like that old, you know, early 90s almond color. And I just, it's not my favorite, okay? So after I had painted these walls, it just made them look more aesthetically pleasing to me. Does that make sense? I didn't hate them as much, right? Another thing that I knew I wanted to do was rip this stinking medicine cabinet out of this wall. I, grateful, again, grateful, but so overlooking at it, okay? And I was terrified as to whether or not there was just going to be a big gaping hole back here or if it was going to be finished off because doing a uh, drywall is something I've not done before and I don't know if I was ready for it. I was prepared if I had to be, but never done it. Anyways, imagine my surprise and the great mood I was in when I found out that yes, it was already finished and I was not doing anything to that. Okay. You you guys are going to die when you see what I covered this up with. Um, so anyways, my thing is once I can pick like a scheme for a room that I'm going for, it's, it's much easier for me to build around. So what I was thinking, I knew these walls were going to be white and I was like, okay, the sink and the shower is going to look a little bit different. You know, it's weird how that works. So I kind of went off of that color scheme and then I went for a shower curtain. Okay. So finally, after three shower curtains, I came to the conclusion of the one that I wanted. And then I want to build the rest of the bathroom look around the shower curtain. For me, it was just easier. Um, so also these little doorknobs, if you watch the last little refresh that I did for this bathroom, I did take these off. These used to be silver. Well, they still are silver, but they just have a new color. And I just spray painted those like a matte black. They had been all scratched up since then. So I just went and took those off. I also soaked those in hot soapy water and got those cleaned. And then I took them outside and gave them a fresh new coat of spray paint. That way they could look clean and sharp. But I'll tell you what, after I saw the cabinets painted, it looked so much better in here, in here, yeah, in there, you know, that bathroom you're looking at. It looked so much better. Like, I felt so much relief just having that paint done. I could have put just all my original stuff back in there and I would have felt so much better. I don't, I don't know what it, 
does to me. Just a, a fresh coat of white paint. But these doors actually painted very well. I got a little, what was it, a cabinet and trim? I think it's, that's what it's called, uh, the roller. And it did really well. Um, just to cover more space, I ended up using my big roller a couple of times. But it really took the paint well. I did take that sanding block and kind of roughly go over everything just to kind of give it a little bit more of a grit for that paint to hold on to. But now I feel better about not going straight for the color on these cabinets because I do love the way they look now, but I also have a good base to where if I change my mind, I will have a good base to go ahead and paint them. But I don't know. You guys are going to have to give me your thoughts. Should I have painted the cabinets? And if so, what color would you have went for? Because I also like that really muted blue. It's like a kind of like a slaty gray blue color. I, I can't remember the name of it, but I'm pretty sure it was on like Sherwin Williams top color list for last year. I think I could be completely wrong. But anyways, I do love that color as well. It was either going to be something like that in the blue range or that deep forest like a jady green. It was going to be one of the two, but I chickened out. So you guys are going to have to tell me your thoughts on whether or not I should have used some more of the color. But wait until the end of the video when you see how everything has been put together and how it looks. Wait until then to give me your opinion because I left everything pretty much like a open canvas. So if I do want to go back in there and add some things, I can totally do that because as of right now, everything is just, um, you know, decor and things like that. So while I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this little, I don't know what it's called. I guess it's like a little dresser. It's, oh, it's not a dresser. You'll see what it is. But I had been all over Amazon and Wayfair and all kinds of places trying to find the best little cabinet that I could fit. Because this space is like a, it's a smaller space. It has to be able to fit in between my tub and however far my door opens. And the one that I had in there before was cute. But it had, if you remember, like the three little drawers on the side and then the door that opened up and it had two little shelves and everything had to be shoved back into those shelves and I couldn't see anything that was in there. So I kind of wanted something that was going to display everything in more of an open space, but also have the look that I was trying to go for in this bathroom. And I came across this particular cabinet and I believe it comes in three different colors. This was not sent to me. It is not sponsored. I will leave the link to this cabinet in my description box if you I uh, would like to check it out. These are beautiful. They were very well priced and very sturdy, very easy to put together. You guys know that this is one of my favorite things to do is assemble furniture for some weird reason. But um, they had this one, which is the white, and you can see like the wicker or rattan, whatever you want to call it, in the door panels. They also have one that I wanted originally but they were sold out of and it would be like another two months before they got them in so I went with the white but it's more of a natural wood and the wicker is the same in the door inlays and then they have a black one with the same wicker in the doorways and now that I keep looking at the bathroom I'm like oh should I have went for the black that would have been a good color block in there and it would have tied in with like the poles and other things that I have put in the bathroom. So now I'm kind of like beating myself up over it. Should I have gotten the black one or is the white one good? Like it gives it a little bit of color and I think the style goes really well with what I've done in here too, but it's still white and it keeps everything, you know, open and fresh. I don't know. All I know is that I'm so happy with how this all turned out and I think it looks amazing and I'm proud of myself for doing it. It wore me out, y'all. Like I was down for the count for like three days with my back patches. It was something, but I'm so glad that I did it because it looks amazing. Even Ruben came in and he's taken like just three walks in there and he's like, you know, this really looks good. I really like this. You can do mine now. <laughs> I'm like, mm -mm. nope, you can watch my video and see how I did it and you can do it yourself. <laughs>
but I will have to say that this little piece of furniture here is probably one of my top two favorite things that I've done in this bathroom and I'll share with you my most favorite thing in just a second but once I got this piece and the shower curtain that was when I started to try to think of what kind of decor that I wanted to do in this bathroom and I wanted to give it like a theme you guys know that I have uh, a very strange personality and that also can flow through my decorating <laughs> sense. If you haven't seen the artwork in my office, you should definitely check that out in some of my videos. But I was either going towards like, have you seen the pictures like somebody has made of the Mona Lisa and she's holding her nose? Or like you could get pictures of, do you remember the scene in Bridesmaids when Melissa McCarthy was going in the sink? Um, a picture of that or the one in Dumb and Dumber when he was in the restroom. Like I could put pictures of stuff like that up in the bathroom and I think it's hilarious. I think it's just absolutely hilarious. But then again, I'm almost 50 years old and I probably should not be putting that stuff in my house. But then again, why not? You know, I don't know. These are things I just tussle with on a daily basis. And then I was like, okay, I could go to the Goodwill or something like that. And I could find like a really nice solid framed piece that would bring a lot of color into the room. And it would just look, you know, really nice and artsy fartsy. But then as we all know, Amazon is our friend and our enemy all at the same time. So I get back on Amazon and I'm looking through all of this mid-century art and I love mid-century art and just the colors and everything like that just how they pop I just I love them okay so I did find this one little stack of pictures I think there were two eight by tens three five by sevens and four what are they like four by fours or three by fours something of that nature and I picked the ones that I wanted to use and I went ahead and laid them out in a pattern on my couch about 48,000 times just to kind of figure out how I wanted them on the wall. And I think it really does fill up that little space nicely. It gives it the color and it was very inexpensive. And I got those little frames at Walmart. They were less than $2 each. So I didn't put a ton of money into that. And I think they turned out great. I was really trying to keep this whole thing at a budget and thinking that I already had the paint that kind of threw my budget off a little bit, but it was still under probably I would say 350 because the little cabinet did cost me a little bit and um, I would not change that. I, I love that piece. So now that all of the paint is dry, I'm able to go in and put on my little additions. This is the mirror that I decided to get. I don't know if you guys have noticed when I clean my bathroom, but inside my medicine cabinet is like seven little things that I use for my face and that could easily go somewhere else. I really did want something a lot bigger right here and I did not want another medicine cabinet. So I did find this mirror on Amazon as well. I will go ahead and link that along with the cabinet in the description box if you're looking for something like this. I love this mirror because you can hang it either way. You can either hang it horizontally or vertically, obviously, but I love just the fact that you can do whatever you needed to do with it. You could double up these mirrors. I saw that online too, but the ease of the installation of this, you guys, could not have been easier. All I really needed to do was find the studs and you put on this little bracket, you mount that to the wall and the back of the mirror just has the same exact bracket. It's just a male and a female part and you literally just hang it on there. Like it could not have been any easier for me and I love that for myself. But this mirror is hands down absolutely my most favorite thing that I have added to this bathroom. It literally, you guys, when you walk into this bathroom, it makes it look and feel so much bigger in there because the mirror that was in there before was so little, you couldn't see anything. You got no reflection of anything else in that room. And it was very high. Like I'm not short, short. I'm like five, five. I'm, I'm kind of average, but you almost like could not see your whole self in that mirror. So this, it might not look like much to you guys, but I'm telling you what, I could not be happier about this mirror. Also these two little floating shelves, again on Amazon, I knew I needed to fill this little piece of the wall and I didn't want to do too much. 
Again, I just went ahead and found the studs and I put that on the wall. I, it came with two, okay? But I don't know how I feel about putting two of them up there. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below if you think I should add that second shelf. I don't think I need to though. I think, I think it worked out perfectly fine, to be honest. And I could, I could hang that other one up there. I just don't think it needs to be done. You, you just let me know. I could just be going crazy because I had spent so much time in there and especially with the door shut and all those paint fumes, but I personally think that it looks great. But you guys let me know. I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, we got the shelf up there. I ended up uh, grabbing these little hooks off of Amazon as well. I took down, again, that one with the adhesive strip on it, and I put this one in its place. It came in a pack of three, and I thought about putting the other two on the wall behind the door so that I could, like, hang robes and things like that, but I didn't do it. I don't know why I didn't do it, but I didn't. But I can always go back and add that. So once I got the hooks back on the wall and I was able to put the switch plate covers back on, I could just start to bring in all of the little pieces that I had decided that I was going to use. And if you watched me do the office clean out not too long ago, there was this little basket in there that I showed you that I had gotten from the Target dollar spot like two years ago. I didn't know what I was going to do with it when I bought it, but it was cute and it was $5. And I was like, I'm going to hang on to that. And I'm so glad that I did because it goes so well in here with all of the other decor. But here is the shower curtain that I decided to go with. I do enjoy the fact that it has these little tassels on the front of it. I think it is adorable. It gives it just enough of a little whimsical feel to it and it just kind of catches your eye. It's got those little bursts of color in there. The stripes are like a light brown and then it's got those different colored like a toffee and a cream colored tassel on there. I think it's really cute and I have gone through again like so many shower curtains but I love it. I think it looks really really darling. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this piece in here now and hang the pictures. I wanted to wait until I got the cabinet finished because I uh, obviously wanted to make sure that I got everything centered. I used the tiny little white nails that way I'm not driving big old holes into my freshly patched walls. But this is how I decided to go ahead and hang these pictures up. I think the size of them were great. I think the colors just tied everything together and it gives it just a little personality. And I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying these. I was originally going to go with just the clear frames, but I did at the last second decide on the black trimmed frames and I'm glad that I did because I think it ties in the door handle and the pulls on the cabinets and the mirror as well. I'm just so in love with how this turned out if you guys can't tell. This has been such a long time coming and I think I did what I came to do. I think I'm finally just really satisfied with this bathroom. I've done this bathroom a couple of times and I was never really in love with what I did but this time around, I'm really in love with how it turned out. So these rugs are also new. I did grab these from Walmart and I've never seen this set at Walmart before. And this was the only set that they had. I was gonna grab a set from my mom because I thought they would look cute in her bathroom, but these were the only ones they had. So sorry, Debbie, I took them and I love them. I think the material and just the fabric and the pattern and everything just kind of ties everything together. I decided to go with this little re-diffuser from Walmart and just like a clean cotton scent. I wanted to try to keep everything in here just light and fresh. And then for the top of the cabinet, I wanted to go ahead and bring that little basket in here. And I knew exactly what I was going to use this basket for. I think it's just so cute because it kind of looks like a little beehive. And then now that it's springtime, I just felt like the color and the material of this basket would be perfect. But I just added all of my little facial rounds and my Q-tips to the basket that way they're right there at my reach and I don't have to go digging for them anywhere else. I also took everything that was in the old cabinet and my medicine cabinet and I sorted through everything that I had. I only got rid of a couple bottles that were pretty much empty because I had just recently cleaned that out and I got those loaded into the cabinet but here is the overlook of the finished bathroom. I just love it in here. I do feel like I was able to keep it open and bright, 
but kind of transform it at the same time because it looks and feels so stinking different. I wish you guys could all just come over and like take a walk through the bathroom and just feel what I feel. It's so weird that the smallest things like this can make you feel so much happier about a space. But you know, when you spend a lot of time in an area, you kind of want it to look good and you kind of get tired of looking at it. So if you're able to take a weekend, take a little bit of spare change, whatever, even if you have things laying around and you just want to use that and just completely do over a room, I highly suggest you go ahead and do it. This bathroom definitely needed it. I had fun picking everything out and I'm just so glad that it's over. I'm so glad that it's done, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some motivation and thank you so much for keeping me company today. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. But I gotta go. I love you and appreciate you.